play. Hola amigos, welcome back to Latina Living History. I was gonna have a really cool long video with all the alterations I did to finish my Nankeen writing habit, but I started a new job this week and it has completely kicked the stuffing out of me and I am hella tired. So I didn't get as much done as I really wanted to. So please enjoy what I did get done and stay tuned for a future video with more of the final fitting and hopefully I'm gonna do a side saddle photo shoot with my horse Duncan and my friend Julie so we can both get our riding habits on film finally. In this clip, what I'm doing is saying how I sewed the buttons on and I'm going to switch them because I sewed them on just to the linen and then realized that that puts a lot of stress on the linen fibers where the stitching is. So what I'm going to do is use these little wool circles and reinforce the back of the linen because it's only a single layer and having that fold wool behind it is really going to help absorb some of the pull from the threads and the buttons will be a lot less likely to pull off. As it turns out, I'm actually gonna need to do this again because once I did it, I tried this on and I didn't put the buttons up high enough. I thought I had pulled the straps down really tight in my fitting, but without doing it in front of a mirror, I didn't quite get it where I needed to. So the whole thing hangs a little bit too low for the jacket level and I'm gonna have to do this again. But that's how we learn. I'm also demonstrating how to make a shank on the button. Instead of sewing it flat to the fabric, I leave it a little bit loose and then wind my thread around it several times to reinforce it. I'm using these really nice brass hooks and eyes that I got from, I think, Burnley and Trowbridge on the jacket. And another thing that happened is that I ran out of button forms. Even though I was using little plastic forms from Joanne, I still need to go pick up more. And I also ran out of these brass hook and eyes. And it would really also be nice to have a few more of the bone buttons. So I think I'm going to have to place an order with Burnley and Trowbridge, which doesn't stress me out as much as it did when I was laid off. So that's great. And I can support a friend and excellent small business. So that's also great. Uh, so in between now and the next time this is featured in a video, I will have purchased more hooks and eyes, found more button forms either locally or through b and and I'll have hopefully a whole outfit to show you. Oh, another thing I'm working on is a bonnet. In the thumbnail for this video, I feature a Nankeen Riding Habit fashion plate, and I decided that I really liked the look of the bonnet in the thumbnail. So I'm working on a bonnet to go along with the Riding Habit, and they could be worn with a number of different types of headwear, but that bonnet is really distinctively really late 18th century, really early 19th century. So like 1799, 1800, 1801. And that's kind of where I wanted this entire outfit to land period wise. Um, I have a collection of other bonnets, but they're more geared toward 1810, 18 teens, because that was what a lot of my reenacting was for, for the 1812 bicentennial and things like that. So I could pair this outfit with one of those bonnets or even a top hat, but that would place it a little bit later in the time period that we're looking at. And I really like that early, like 1790s look. Say hi to Miss Kitty and bye to me. We're all done for this week. Thanks for listening. As always, you can find me on Facebook at Latina Living History and on Instagram at La Vida Josefina.